So today is Thursday, and we actually got new content today instead of it being on Friday. And the reason why they have released the content on Thursday this week is because we have a holiday coming up on Monday. It is Memorial Day on Monday. Um, and so when they do content updates the for the weekend of the holiday, they do it a day early so they can have the long weekend and not have to be in the office. So that's why we have content today on Thursday instead of Friday. But without further ado, let's get into it. As always, we start these videos by looking at the calendar. As we see, May, 20, or May 25th, yep, it's May 25th, Incognito Program and Pack. So we have a new Incognito Program with a ton of free cards. Uh, we have a new Alter Ego 3 Pack. We have new Tops Now cards. We have Kaiju Event Part 3. And we have a Oriole City Connect uniform, which are completely, they're, they're just really ugly. But regardless, on Friday, June 2nd, we have another roster update. So the third in the year. And we have Lou Gehrig Day content. So that's going to be cool to see. And then the following, is that Tuesday? The, Tuesday the 7th, I'm pretty sure. We have May a monthly awards, right? Because Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. No, it's actually on a Wednesday. So we're getting May monthly awards on Wednesday the 7th. So yeah, that's that's what we got for content. Let's get into what was released today. The third Kaiju event, we are of course getting another rewind pack, but we have three new cards today. And the first card is Alex Gordon. I mean, like, who's gonna be using this card in ranked seasons? All he can do is hit for contact versus righties and has elite defense. Wow, so amazing. Brett Saberhagen, four seam changeup, curveball, slider. Horrible pitch mix, not good enough per nines. Has control, but that's pretty much it. Another pretty bad card. And then Harmon Killebrew. So we finally get someone decent in events, but still not amazing. First base can play third and left. Can't be a DH because his fielding is pretty terrible. But he does do really well against lefties with 104, 104. And then he has 116 power versus right. 90 contact versus right is a little low, but we do have the 101 clutch to help him out. For tops now, we're going to be getting another one of these flashbacks and the other captain, but the new cards we have are Patrick Bailey, nice little switch hitting catcher. None of these cards are going to be used in ranked seasons teams. These are just to give guys who have never really had a good chance to get good cards, to give them good cards. Brian Riccio, Matt McClain can play pretty much everywhere. Mark Vientos, I'm sure Mets fans are happy to see that, just got called up. Brandon Williamson, Cotter four seam slider circle change curveball, not horrible. And we have Jose Caballero, second base, can play third, second, and left. Has pretty balanced stats, has insane speed, okay? And then Seiya Suzuki, 96-104 versus right, 90-92 versus left, 105 clutch. Can play a ton of spots as well. Moving to the Incognito Series program, this is going to work pretty much the exact same way the Charisma Series program worked. A ton of free cards to use for the collection, but, you know, they're, they're all pretty solid. But they're nothing special, I would say. We have a Conquest for 20 points, a Showdown for 15 points. That gives you 35. I'm assuming you complete. Yeah, you complete it at 100. So that's 35 points. Moments, they're each 2. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 35 plus 24, that is 59. And then Missions, you just have a ton of missions to do with these cards. And then you'll finish up this program. But going over the cards, we'll start with Tim Hill. Lefty reliever. 98 hits per nine, 101 walks per nine, 111 pitching clutch. Control and break are really good. Tim Jim. Okay, so these cards have their nicknames as their actual player names. But Tim Hill always has a glitchy glitchy motion. So he might be pretty good. Kess Daddy. Kess and Hira. Really good against righties and like unusable against lefties. Horrible defense as well. Mr. Duck, Tyler Anderson, four seam circle change cutter, sinker 12 6, so not a bad repertoire, but the velocity is really low. The, the per nines are pretty low as well. Farm Dog, Kyle Farmer, shortstop, can play catcher, so not a bad option for a catcher. 100 miles, Giles, slider, four seam, two seam. Really wish he had a sinker instead of the two seam. He, okay, you're gonna name him 100 miles, Giles, but you can't give him outlier? I don't really know, but. Outlaw, which is Kevin Kiermeyer. I mean, nobody's using this card in ranked. I mean, these cards are all just kind of filler. Tony Gonsal and the Catman. Four seam splitter slider 12 6. 106 hits per 9, 109 pitching clutch. So this card is actually a lot more usable than the others. 
Big Fundy DJ the Mayhew. Love to see a DJ the Mayhew card as a Yankees fan, but he doesn't have good enough power versus righties. Chicken Man, Wade Boggs, high contact, high clutch, pretty bad power. All right, defense, but people like his swing. Miles Michaelis, 5'280s, uh, four seam slider, sinker 12, six circle change. Another not amazing card. Boomstick Nelson Cruz. Interesting to see his contact is higher than his power. Interesting. I I would have I would have preferred he could actually play defense. Wow. Okay. So a little different Nelson Cruz card, and then we have Brandon Bell. Okay, so this card is actually pretty solid. I mean the contact versus left sucks, but 125 power versus right, 106 clutch will help him versus lefties. He would be a pretty good option versus righties. If we go to the pack store, we are starting a flash sale today. And I'm pretty annoyed because I just bought a bunch of these guys because of I was going to wrap up the set one collection. I literally just bought like a bunch of these and they just went down in price. Like it, it's annoying, but regardless, we just got a new flash sale for these cards. So, you know, the deal with flash sales, buy them now. Well, don't buy now, but just put in orders now and then those prices will go up. Really good way to make stubs. But we also have an alter ego pack three. We have Michael Brantley. Wow. Okay. This card really impresses me. Dr. Smooth. Okay. Chris Sale, the conductor. Four seam slider, circle change, sinker. 125 pitching clutch, really good control. Oh my god. 99 break on all four pitches. That's a really good card. And then Justin Turner. Okay, so these cards are really good. The uh the 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 pack, what the alter ego pack three. Max stats versus lefties. Good enough versus righties. Plays a ton of spots. The Pebble, Colton Wong. All right, not horrible. Lou Brock. Ooh, he got done dirty with those hitting stats. Chubbs, Sr. Kirby Yates. Four-seam splitter, slider, two-seam. Control, break, all pretty solid. I mean, 125 pitch and clutch. That's a really good reliever. Hal Newhauser. Four-seam sweeping curve, changeup slider. All right. I mean, 124 stamina is insane, but 101 hits per nine, 109 clutch. All around pretty solid card. Slam Tana, first base can play catcher. 107, 121 contact, 93, 93 power, 112 clutch. Can play catcher as silver defense. So, yeah, that, those cards are pretty good. For Diamond Duos, we are going to start with Robin Yount. I mean, who who actually uses Robin Yount cards in ranked seasons? I don't. Really good defense, good speed. High contact, but his power is not that good. 125 clutch. And then Casey Mize, four-seam slider, sinker, splitter, curveball. So he's got a great repertoire, great control, great break. Velocity is good enough. Speed differentials are pretty solid. The splitter being pretty close to the slider is a little annoying now, but 106 hits per nine, 104 clutch. I mean, this card is good. He's going for around 60K. So I have a ton of packs here to open. Probably just going to only show the diamonds. Really hoping to get someone who actually, like, costs a lot because all my diamond pulls have been pretty crappy. But, you know, I got all this from playing the game for free, so. First diamond of the day. Big shock. It's a purple diamond. Uh, what's new? What's new, man? I, I only pulled purple diamonds. And we are going to get... Is that Alexis Diaz? So, he's got to be quick sell diamond. And yes. Second diamond of the day out of a bomb pack. Oh, wait. What? Goal? Out of a ballin' pack? Who is this? Who? Twins? Walter Johnson? What? What just happened? Okay, he's like 40k. How? You can pull him out of a ballin' pack? Seeing lights that were not purple was such a refreshing thing to see. Uh, we finally got a pretty good pull. We pulled Walter Johnson. Definitely going to go sell him. I mean, there's no point in me keeping a set one player. But we got three Diamond Duo packs. Still haven't pulled a diamond out of any of these. And I've opened maybe like 40 of them. Never bought them because they're such a scam. I'm not talking about a diamond uniform. I'm talking about a diamond player. I couldn't care less if it was a purple diamond. Just give me a, a singular diamond player. No, of course not. These packs suck. We all know this. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here... Follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And most importantly, make sure you're subscribed right here on YouTube. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.